What is up everybody and welcome back to another video. So I've been wanting to film this video for a very long time, like a couple of years now and I was like, well, what better time to do it than now? Like, might as well. This keeps on moving, okay, I'm sorry. This is the story of the time I got my period for the first time. So I was in fifth grade. So that means that I was like, oh, hold up, let me do the math. I was like 11 or 10 and a half. Yeah, I think I was 10 and a half because my birthday's in May. So I was 10 and a half. <laughs> I was getting my period as a little freaking, not even teen, like I was a child. Okay, I was in class. Let's start there. I was in class and I had no idea what a period was. Like I didn't know what it meant, what it was. I had never even heard about it or any of that. So one day I had to use the restroom and so I went during class and I'm using the bathroom and then I look this is so embarrassing oh my god but I looked down at my pants and then I had like stained myself but coming from a fifth grade mind I was like did I just shit myself <laughs> like did I just shit my pants and so I was like that's kind of weird but okay mind you it didn't go through my pants and so I was like okay that's kind of weird but whatever so I wiped myself and then I go back to class. I think it was like towards the end of the day because I don't remember going to the bathroom again that day. So I don't really remember how many days it went. But here comes another day and I happened to wear red jeans. I was in freaking elementary school, bro, okay? I was wearing red jeans and I go to school. Same thing happens. I'm like, did I just fucking shit myself? again why am i shitting my pants and i was freaking confused as hell and then um i was like okay like what's happening why does it keep happening and why is it happening out of nowhere like what and i was kind of scared because like i didn't know what it was it was like oh my god like what's happening bro like why am i shitting my pants or like why is this shit coming out of my body like out of nowhere like what eventually i came home one time that day when i was wearing the red pants and i had to shower so like i went to shower and then being the 10 year old that i was i left my clothes on the floor in the bathroom and I forgot, like I completely forgot. I was so scared because I didn't know what was wrong. Like I didn't know what was happening. So I didn't tell anybody. Like I didn't tell my friends or like I didn't tell my mom or anything because I was so confused and scared and kind of embarrassed too. So like that day I left my clothes on the floor and then I was sitting on the couch and then my mom was cleaning the bathroom. So she was like picking up my clothes and she was like, Yesenia? And I was like, huh? And then she goes, I don't even know how you say it in, in English, but in Spanish, they'll be like, te bajo. So I was like, that's what she said, which is she basically was like, you got it? And I was like, what? I was like, got what? And then she freaking comes over here, bro. She's holding my pants in the freaking air, bro. Like, she brings it to the living room and she's holding them up in the air. She's like, what happened? She's like, you got it? And I was like, um, what do you mean? I got it. I was like, I don't know what's happening. Like, I'm confused. I was 10 years old and I had no idea. And like, I thought I was going to get in trouble. Like, for shitting my pants. Which I, I don't even think I thought I was shitting my pants. But like... I just didn't know what it was and so then later that day she was like okay so basically you just got your period and I was like hmm, what the fuck is that and why has nobody told me about it and then she's like these are pads and I was like wow thank you for educating me now but then again can you really blame them like I was 10 
like why would anybody expect their daughter to get their period at 10 years old that's insane like that's crazy so yeah so she's like this is a pad and i was like oh my god so that's what that box is like i would just had them there for decoration this whole time so she hands me one and then she was like this is how you put it on and i was so embarrassed i was like oh my god like get out of the bathroom so she gets out and i'm like putting on the little pad and i was like what the f just happened like that was so embarrassing and like oh wait she still hadn't educated me at all like she was just like this is a pad put it on and yeah and i was like okay so i put it on and then i was like dang like i really took my having no period days for granted because i thought that once you got it it's never gonna go away again so i was like dang i'm like i gotta live the rest of my life wearing a pad and i was okay like, simping dude like i was like fuck like that's so uncomfortable and then the rest of the day i just like went like you know being my little 10 year old self with my freaking period and then um she started telling me more about it and then i was like oh okay now i get it like that makes so much more sense i don't really remember what happened after that um oh my god and then i remember she was freaking calling the whole entire world being like yeah i was like she's kind of waiting now and i was like what and then like i remember like she had called like my nina and like my grandma and stuff and then like i remember the next time that i saw them after she had called them they'd be like so you're a lady now and i was like um i'm fucking 10 years old like what do you mean bro like why do parents not educate us and then tell the whole world like i don't get it like that makes no sense to me but anyways that was so embarrassing i think that's i think that's like it and then it just started being a normal thing which is so unfortunate i'm kind of just chilling out i've been having the worst cramps like for so many years i don't even know when it started but i will have the worst cramps i will literally throw up oh my god yeah that was the story of how i got my period for the first time and how i found out and how my mom found out and how she embarrassed me in front of like my whole entire family so Comment down below if I should do like a second video like answering your guys' questions or Oh yeah, comment down below if I, if I should do like a girl talk video and then you guys can ask me questions and then I can answer them But yeah, basically that's all for today's video Um, I hope you enjoyed my very embarrassing story, share it with your friends because um, I'm sure it will make them laugh But yeah, so as always, you already know to like and subscribe, do what you gotta do, you already know Okay, I hope you like my outro, now slide my outro in And as always, I'll see you next time actually.